Open the machine configuration menu. Before we go any further, we'll save a new configuration for our machine and implement. Otherwise we risk overriding an existing configuration. Then, pick the style of machine you are using, harvester, traditional or articulated. Next, and most importantly of course, pick the right brand. Then, get the tape measure out and fill in the dimensions of your machine. If you prefer to use imperial measurements, you can select them further down. Try and get these as accurate as possible. On this screen are settings related to the visual width of guidance lines, nudge distance, whether it should steer in reverse or not, and the minimum and maximum speeds auto steer should engage at. The line acquire look ahead is in seconds. How far ahead AOG should search for a line to acquire. The next button down is your implement section. And you'll notice that as you change the style in the first one, some of the next sections change. Your basic styles are three point mounted, trailed in sections, front mounted and trailed. Again, get the tape measure out and get these as accurate as you can using the pictures as a guide. Here, we can see the effect that the measurements have on the visual display and you can match these to your implement. The simulator is a great place to try these out and learn their different functions, using the illustrations for guidance. Next, we come to the implement width. And your first thought should be to consider if you have any kind of section control. If you do, it makes sense to create the correct number of sections and widths as they can be used with a machine board to turn sections off, or a visual indicator to do it manually. You can have up to 16 sections, of varying widths and you can see the effect this has here. Notice, the overall width of this implement is 6 meters. If you update the main section width box and change the number of sections, it will override all the current widths. The percent coverage informs AOG when to turn the section off at 100%. It turns off only when all the area is applied. At 50%, when half is. The boundary icon shows at what point the off command should be sent. And there is also a minimum speed limit at which all sections should be shut off. The next section is your look ahead time settings. These are how far before you cross the headland onto the work the machine should turn sections on or a warm up time. The next is how far ahead of reaching the headland the section should be shut off. And finally how far into the headland the section should keep running before turning off. And finally, we can define whether we want manual or automatic section painting to engage when we engage a work switch or a steer switch. We can use this to start marking the worked area the moment auto steer is engaged or only if the work button is pressed. You can also invert the status of the work button so it paints if not pressed or vice versa. From this screen, you can also load combinations, or delete them. And that's it for this video. You should now know how to set up your tractor and implement. Don't forget to like this video, subscribe, and watch the playlist regularly for new additions. See you next time!